Hello everyone, this is Julia. Thank you so much for joining me on my craft room adventures. Today I have this fun fairy themed night sky scene card to share with you. And for this one I used a brand new shop to me. It's called Anja's Basteltraum and it's a German stamp company. I think she's still relatively new but she has some super cute designs. And uh, she actually asked me if I wanted to play with one of her stamp sets, so of course I was excited too. So I chose these adorable fairies, and the stamp set is called uh, Feenparadies, which means fairy paradise, which is very fitting. And uh, yeah, if you want to see how I made this card, just keep watching. I die cut two grassy borders and I ink blended them with bundled sage, evergreen bough, and pine needles. Then for my starry background, I'm using tumbled glass. Faded Jeans, Chipped Sapphire, a uh, Blueprint Sketch, I'm sorry. Uh, that's the one I'm using now. Now I'm also bringing in the Chipped Sapphire just to darken it up. And to get it even darker, I'm bringing in Black Soot, but I'm using the regular Distress Inks because I found that when I use the Oxide in the Black Soot, it's more gray than black. So adding the black soot regular distressing over the dark blue really made it look blackened. Then I'm also adding some white splatters and also some blue splatters. And then I'm just using a white gel pen to add a few stars here and there. Just hand drawing them in. And then I'm just going to set that panel off to dry. I die cut a piece of black cardstock to A2 size, then I cut a piece of silver cardstock just a little bit smaller, and then I die cut my ink blended panel about a quarter of an, uh, an eighth of an inch smaller than that, just so that I would have a nice matting for my card. Then I'm adding my hills, all with liquid glue on top, and now it's time to color my cute little fairy and the um, tree house. So I'm starting with RV69. Then I'm blending that out with RV66. Then RV63. And unfortunately in the RV60s, this is the lightest color. So I use the V000 to blend that out just to make sure that the colors don't get too dark. But the V000 is quite a bit too light, even though it's the, the right tone for the combination. So I just blended the colors back and forth quite a bit to get a fairly nice blend. And then for my skin, I'm going in with E15 as my darkest shade. And I'm blending that out with E13. And E11. And I'm also bringing in a little bit of R21 on the cheeks, just for some blush. And then I'm blending everything together with E00. Adding a little bit more blush and blending that out. Then I'm adding BG quadruple zero and BG triple zero on the fairy wings. I'm not adding a lot of shading there because I wanted to add some glittery stickles. Then I'm going in with E49 for the hair. And I'm blending that out with E47. E43. Then adding a little bit more of the E47. And then also some E44. Then for the accents on her dress and her hair bow, I'm using BG18, BG15, BG13, and BG11. I also use the same teal combination on the door of the fairy house. And I'm bringing in Y15, Y13, and Y11 on the little uh fairy wand and also on the like uh lit up window of the fairy house i didn't end up using the wand 
uh, but since it's the same yellow combination I figured I would leave it in. And I'm going in with E47 for the tree. Just adding a little bit of shading. And it was quite a challenge for me to color this tree because the image is so large and you know it needed quite a bit of like texture. Um, yeah, still need to practice that a whole lot. Then I'm going in with E44, just to blend out the E47. Just attempted to add some like wood grain texture. And blending that out with E43. Then I'm also adding in some E49. Then again the E47. Then E44, and then the E43, just to blend everything together. For the main body of the house, I'm using E43, E41, and E40. I colored the roof of the fairy house in the same color combination as I did the fairy's dress. So RV69, 66, 63, and yeah, uh, I skipped the lightest shade, the V000. And then I'm going in with G28 as my darkest green shade for the like treetops. And I'm blending that out with G24. And then G21, just leaving a little bit of a white edge and then blending that out with G20. Just so that there's a light edge that would be lit up by the like glow of the moon that I imagine is there somewhere. <laughs> and then I'm stamping the sentiment, Glaube an die Magie, which, is, which means believe in, in the magic which I think is super cute with these cute fairy. And then I'm just tucking the tree house behind the first grassy hill, just centering it on the card and pressing it down. And I added some foam squares to the back of my fairy and I'm just adding her down on the left side. Then I'm adding some shimmer pen to the accessories on the fairy, the fairy wings and also the door and the window of the house. And then I'm adding lots of stardust stickles on the fairy wings because those have to be sparkly, right? And there we go. That finishes off my night sky magical fairy scene. I had so much fun making this and I really hope you enjoyed it. I will be sure to link to Anya's shop down below. She has so many cute designs and I'm sure there will be many, many more to come. I hope you enjoyed the video, give it a big thumbs up if you did. I would love it if you would consider subscribing to my channel for more crafty videos. And I hope to see you next time. Until then, have a wonderful day. Bye!